us of course through the word of god we who are dying god is active in us to bring us back to life that's why in psalm 121 verse 4 it is written the god of israel never sleeps not slumbers never sleeps not slumbers he is always active in us so god brought back adam and give we read in the book of genesis chapter 16 the lady hagar who is having the gift of child she is pregnant but she got into problem with her mistress and the mistress is chasing her away she is running for life she wants to die because all the doors of the world is closed against her the mistress where she is staying she is a sabe she is a servant girl who will believe her she has no money who will take care of her and the man whose child she is bearing abraham he himself stood with his wife sarah and left her this is the world this is the world and sarah says i have no name i have no money i have no one to live for why should i live for whom should i live sometime in our lives we do come to this kind of stage but then as she was running she is becoming helpless she is about to fall the lord calls her hey god in this desert full of dust and heat who knows me she turned back the lord said to her go back i will take care of you i am taking care of your root i am taking care of your f- branches the same woman who hated you will adjust with you will love you go back a god will turn even the enemies into friends when we get back to him we all go through trials tribulations disturbances pain misery loneliness but our god of salvation is always with us when we look upon him he will save us so god is the source of salvation and when man when man fell in sin god did not leave him like that that's why we read in john 3:16 god so loved the world that he sent his only son jesus and he saw mankind dying he saw the man dying because of his sin because he moved away from life he caught hold of that which is burning him which which destroys him he stretched out his hands to sin and he is dying because of sin the ruler of the sin satan has found the way to enter into man and destroying everything which god has given to him when the blood is contaminated in sin it moves for death the ruler of the world comes to occupy 
you may have heard about jerry lewis one of the great actress in the us he had given his witness one day he was getting ready for <coughs> film shooting he had a seven feet mirror in his house he was looking at himself and he was decorating himself suddenly he saw a dark thing just a shadow coming and standing on the corner of the mirror big mirror seven feet mirror he got shocked said who are you who is this he was shocked to hear a voice laughing laughing don't recognize me don't you recognize me i'm the one who led you to these night clubs i'm the one who gave this beautiful woman i'm the one who lifted you up as an actor i'm the one who brought name fame money and every part of your body belongs to me i have come to take you away he didn't know what to do he says suddenly he saw his room was locked the enemy had locked it he can't run he was hitting at the head at the door of with his head and the blood was flowing he saw the same dark shadow which was on the mirror coming down and licking that blood he got shock suddenly he remembered a little prayer which his mother taught him when he was a little boy blood of jesus forgive me cleanse me and holy spirit rebuild my life blood of jesus forgive me and cleanse me and holy spirit rebuild my life blood of jesus he didn't know what to do only that one sentence came to his memory blood of jesus the moment he opened his mouth and with a struggle he said blood of jesus he heard a very big cry don't say that name jerry louis did not know what to do he was going on repeating blood of jesus cleanse me purify me i am a sinner holy spirit please rebuild my life he was repeating this little prayer then he saw he says i don't know whether it is a vision or a dream i was lying there i saw a very big wall made up built with the bricks and in each brick he saw all his sins from his childhood onwards all that he had forgotten the ladies with whom she was he was living the hotels in which he was living the drinks he was having and all that the people whom he cheated in that every brick as soon as he saw the sin his own weakness once again he became flat and he saw he heard very big laughter of the evil spirit he didn't know again he got courage once again he started to pray blood of jesus cleanse me forgive me i am a sinner holy spirit come and rebuild my life he says i don't know how many times i might have said i was going on repeating and i heard a big noise i opened my eyes and saw on that wall on the one hand this dark force was seen on the other hand one lamb was brought and somebody cut that lamb and the blood was flowing 
as the blood was flowing it was just as to eating up every brick of sin every brick of his weakness every brick of his own cheatings all that one by one disappearing as the blood is flowing all the sin moved away at the end he saw only pool of blood on that he saw jesus carrying the cross jesus showed his left hand flesh was hanging and when jerry looked deep he saw every sin of him which was shown in the bricks few minutes ago everything is transferred into the hand of jesus he just cried jesus you have carried away all my sin upon you he surrendered his life to jesus he became a wonderful preacher yes he went into the film world of america and drawn hundreds of souls back to christ my dear friends when we sin our blood gets contaminated and then we become person available for the enemy but the lord jesus in his great mercy he came as the lamb to save you and me that's why we read in john chapter 1 verse 29 when john the baptist saw jesus he said he is the lamb of god who will take away the sin of the world yes jesus has come today if you look at him whatever may be your situation whatever may be the ways through which you have gone away you have lost your life maybe the root maybe the branches maybe you have lost your union with your god or maybe union with one another maybe you are hurt you are wounded you are disturbed no problem let's look at the cross it is there we find our solution my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord